Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome to Tip Ticks. This is part four of my video series on how I took an explainer style video made in After Effects and converted it into a presentation within PowerPoint. If you haven't watched my last video on how to paint on an image, you can find that right here. But today I'm gonna go a little more in depth about the draw tool and how I used it within this presentation. Now I did a video on the draw tool pretty recently and this first sample goes through those same basic steps. Let's take a look. For this downward trend line, go to the draw tool and pick the pen. Click draw and draw on your line. Make sure that when you're done, you click off the draw tool to end drawing. Then go to the format panel and change it to the color or stroke that you want. In this case, I had a thick stroke that was red. Then in the animation tab, select replay to watch it draw on. It's pretty simple. Now to give this one a little bit more movement, I added a spin effect that repeats until the end of the slide. Now, if you're curious on how to do that and you haven't yet seen part two, I'll add the link right here. On the next slide, I have four dollar signs draw on. I created the first one the same way as I made the trend line, but made sure to group the two drawn pieces before I animated. After adding the replay animation, go over to the effects options and select by ink object. This makes sure that both elements in the dollar sign are going to animate in sequence, giving it more of that hand drawn feel. Again, I added some looping effects and then I duplicated the object four times and adjusted the timings to last 0.75 seconds and setting them to appear 0.1 seconds after each other. The next one is a little more complex because it has not only a drawing animation, but also an emphasis animation and an exit animation pretty much all on top of each other. So let's start first by drawing these lines. We want them different lengths and to be radiating into the center where the bull is. I can change the angle afterwards by rotating them a little bit or by grabbing the bounding box and changing the size. Now, since I want these to appear in two different groups, I'm going to select every other one or so. That's good and group them. Then I'll take the leftovers and make them into a second group. I'll start the animation sequence of group one by adding replay and set the effect to all at once. Next, I'll add an emphasis effect, which will be grow shrink and set it to 60% to have the whole group pull into the center. I'll set it to appear 0.3 seconds after the initial animation. So there's some animation overlap and I'll have it last for two seconds. For the exit animation, I'll add a shape wipe. So I will select circle and have it wipe in rather than out. I want it to be smooth, so I'll make it start after the entrance animation finishes, but finish before the emphasis one does. So I'll make it a little bit shorter. Now I'll make sure that group is selected and click on the animation painter and apply that exact animation sequence to my second group. I will adjust the timings so it appears after. The last drawing is basically the same as the first, but with a motion path and an exit animation. So to make the line draw on and move simultaneously, I set the entrance to replay at three seconds. Then I added a motion path and dragged the endpoint in a diagonal downward direction. I want this drawing to move a little after it started drawing on. So I will set the delay to one second and I will set the duration to two to make it last the same amount of time. And I will give it a smooth start and end. Then for the final animation, I want it to just wipe off. So I will add an exit wipe from bottom. So there are the four different ways that I use the draw tool within this presentation. 
I hope you'll follow along for part five, where I'll go through how I styled some of the illustrations and images in this presentation, all within PowerPoint. In the meantime, please hit that like and subscribe button, comment below. I love to hear from you and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.